As someone who uses Notion on a daily basis, I thought I would just be able to send in my application, take the test without a whole lot of studying, and have my Notion Essentials badge very quickly. Then I was sent this email right after taking the Notion Essentials badge exam. The Notion Essentials Badge exam was no joke. It asked a lot of questions that I was not ready for, especially the first time I took the exam. After waiting a month, working through some study materials like Marie Poulin's Notion Mastery, and retaking the Notion Essentials Badge exam, I can finally say that I have my Notion Essentials Badge. With all that in mind, let's go over what the Notion Essentials Badge is, how to prep for the Notion Essentials Badge application and exam, and talk more about what the exam is like. As Notion puts it, the Notion Essentials Badge recognizes proficiency across all Notion features. The Notion Essentials Badge is the most basic level of certification from Notion. Notion introduced this certification at their virtual block by block e event earlier this year. There was a lot announced at Block by Block, so this Notion Essentials Badge was more of a minor point compared to other new updates to Notion like better databases. The Notion Essentials Badge essentially tells the world that you have a working knowledge of Notion and you're somewhat legit. You're not as credible as a Notion certified consultant yet, but this badge shows that you know the basics of Notion and can work with it adequately. This isn't to say you have to have this Notion Essentials Badge to prove that you're part of the Notion community, or that you need this to be this badge to be a Notion expert. The Notion Essentials badge is nice to have, especially if you wanna do a lot of work with Notion, and Notion is a big value proposition to the work you do. Examples of this might be that you're a Notion consultant that helps to build Notion workspaces for other companies, or that you are the expert in Notion for the company you work for. The Notion Essentials badge in some ways helps with credibility as it's Notion themselves saying that you have the basic knowledge of how to use Notion. If you're just getting started with Notion and it could be a significant part of your career, the Notion Essentials badge is probably worth pursuing, especially as it's a free certification and doesn't take much to obtain. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you are striving to be a Notion certified consultant, which is different than the Notion Essentials badge, the Notion Essentials badge is a step towards that. The Notion Certified Consultant certification from Notion is a big deal as only a handful of people have it at the moment. The way I see the Notion Certified Consultant certification is that it's Notion telling the world that you are one of the top experts in Notion. If you're looking to learn more from the best in Notion or have the best in Notion build workspaces and workflows for your company, these are the people Notion recommends. Again, there's no need to be a Notion certified consultant to build a business in or around Notion or to think of yourself as an expert in Notion. The Notion certified consultant certification is really more for credibility and if you really want the stamp of approval from Notion themselves. For me, I mostly just wanted to see what the Notion Essentials badge process was like and prove to myself that I did have a basic proficiency in Notion. I use Notion every day for mostly my own personal workflow, such as task management, knowledge management, and habit tracking. So I feel decently comfortable with Notion itself. I don't see myself as this big expert in Notion yet, but I feel like I'm getting there. If I was using Notion more for business operations purposes, I would definitely feel more confident in my skills in Notion. But for the moment, I'm not using Notion for business operations purposes. When I learned about the Notion Essentials badge though, I felt like this was the exact stage of where I'm at when it comes to Notion. Someone that has a basic proficiency across all Notion features. So that's why I just sent in my application and took the exam after Notion sent me my code to take the exam. As I learned though, that wasn't my best idea and I didn't have all of the bases covered when it came to all of the features in Notion. So let's move into how I did learn more about Notion and prepare for the Notion Essentials badge the second go around. Before I even took the Notion Essentials badge exam the first time, I had worked through the first three levels of Notion Mastery about eight months ago. If you don't know Notion Mastery, it's a really wonderful way to learn Notion and also be around others that are working with Notion effectively. It's marketed as a course for Notion, but in reality, it's more of a learning ecosystem when it comes to Notion. If you've been around Notion for any amount of time, you've probably noticed that Notion is constantly updating, and this year it's been a lot of significant updates like better databases. Notion Mastery accounts for these updates and changes, and with its tracks inside the levels, it's pretty much guaranteed that you'll have a lot of value come out of Notion Mastery. These tracks help personalize your Notion learning experience, so no matter where you're coming from, you'll come away with a lot of takeaways. Notion Mastery can help you manage tasks and knowledge better, help create better habits, 
and even help your business operate more effectively. Notion Mastery isn't cheap with it being $750, but if you're someone that wants to learn Notion, it's a no brainer of an investment. With all that being said, Notion Mastery isn't built to just give you the ability to be certified with the Notion Essentials badge or even the Notion Certified Consultant badge. Notion Mastery is built to make you and or your business function better with Notion organizing your workflows. That's something I knew going into the Notion ba Essentials badge exam, but didn't take very seriously. The part that I should have taken more seriously the first time around was what Notion said would actually be on the exam, which is all of this. It's a lot, and if you're like me, you might be thinking to yourself, there's no way they cover all that or expect me to know little details in these particular areas. Well, the joke was on me. For example, for permissions and sharing, I knew that you could have granular sharing permissions on pages and that they could be a little weird at times. I knew how to share a Notion page as a public link and how anyone could see it. I knew the basics of sharing, at least that's what I thought. What I didn't know was the small important details, like what happens when you share a page with a linked database? Is that linked database viewable by the person you shared it with? Do they have the same editing or ownership rights that you have to that page? There were all these little items to know that I kind of knew, but not very well. When the study materials you use weren't built for all of the knowledge you need for the exam, and you use those study materials eight months before you took the exam, well, you probably aren't going to pass, and that surely was the case. Thankfully, you can reapply and retake the Notion Essentials bad exam 30 days after not passing the exam. To prepare for the second go around, I did a few things. First, I went through Notion Mastery again and went through all four levels of it. It was good to go through it again because Notion had changed from December 2021. Plus, after failing the exam the first time, I felt like I knew where my holes were. Even though Notion doesn't tell you which questions you answered incorrectly, I knew I didn't know certain areas of Notion well, like users and sharing. I use Notion for personal use, which is way different than if you have a full team using Notion. But again, Notion Mastery isn't built to help you pass the Notion Essentials exam. So I went back to Notion's list of items that they say are on the exam. It's kind of helpful, but at the same time, it's not. There's a lot in these categories that Notion lists. Users and sharing has a lot, account management has a lot to it, and comments, mentions, and reminders has way more than I ever expected. After going through Notion Mastery, I spent a lot of time just going through the guides and tutorials by Notion themselves. There are hours and hours worth of content there, so I didn't go through all of it. I just went through parts that I felt like I needed to brush up on, or honestly, just didn't know anything about at all. All. To help make sure I was covering my bases too, I did use a couple articles from others that had passed the Notion Essentials badge exam. One was from Amy Rogers and another one was from Stephanie Foy at Vidget. The blog post from Stephanie, I really leaned on the second go around. So a big thank you to both of them and I'll put a link to the, both of their posts in the description. That's everything I used to prep. Let's now talk about the actual application and exam. To get access to the Notion Essentials Bad Exam, you have to submit a short application about who you are, how you use Notion, and why you enjoy using Notion. There's nothing very complicated to it. In a lot of ways, it's Notion doing customer discovery. They wanna know who is taking the exam so they can iterate on this. I dig it. The application asks questions like, how do you use Notion? What's your best pro tip? And even asks you to describe a project you manage in Notion. It's nothing very hard. It's honestly a good vetting tool to see if you should be taking the Notion Essentials bad exam, because if you can't answer those questions easily, well, you probably shouldn't be taking the exam in the first place. All of the questions that are on the Notion Essentials badge exam application are public too, so you can prepare your answers before opening up the actual application. I'll put a link to the questions in the description. Now to the exam. I don't like the exam. It's a 60 question exam that they give you 90 minutes for. It's plenty of time, but these questions are wild sometimes. For example, I had one question asking about the standard that a date format has. It's the moment standard if you're wondering. Then a lot of questions I had to reread multiple times because they just felt awkward. I wish you could submit products or customized bases or even Loom videos of you building in Notion to prove that you know what Notion well enough. That will probably never happen for this as that's not scalable, but nonetheless. For a lot of the exam, I felt like some questions were not very practical or useful knowledge. For an exam to prove that you have the chops to use Notion, I would hope that it's super practical. This Notion Essentials bad exam didn't always feel that way. 
like knowing the date is in moment standard just feels like a fun fact, not a truly practical point of knowledge. The other part that was worrisome throughout the exam was that Notion is updating all of the time. When I took it the second time, Notion had just released the new Teamspaces feature that week. For someone that struggled with the sharings and permissions originally, this made me a little more nervous the second time around. Not that I didn't know the content, I felt like I did, but I wasn't sure if the Notion Essentials badge exam was updated that fast to reflect changes that Teamspaces made on Notion. To my knowledge, the changes that Teamspaces made on Notion were not on the exam just yet. I'm guessing that it will show up in the future Notion Essentials badge exams, but it would have been nice to know if they would have been on there. Notion releases versions of Notion and announces them very publicly. I hope that they do the same for the exam so people know what to expect. In fairness to the Notion team, this is a new certification and there's going to be some bumps in the road when you release something like this. It won't go perfect and truthfully, I hope every no-code tool ends up creating their own certification like Notion has created. It's so good to check yourself if you know a tool as well as you think you might, and if you're going to build a business around a particular tool, having the certification is a great marketing and professional tool. Who doesn't love another badge or thing to post on LinkedIn? With all of that being said, I'm glad I'm done with this Notion Essentials badge exam and can finally say I have this stinking badge. It took longer than I originally expected, but I did learn more about Notion. That's what I was hoping for, and this little digital badge isn't bad to have either. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you can give it a like. And if you're looking for other videos like this, you can check out other videos on this channel, like this one here.